Hey guys, welcome back to this session. In this session, we're going to learn to send an email by using Swift Code. And for in this, we're going to create one demo app. And in that demo app, we're going to make use of uh, one of the library or uh, that is a message UI which will uh, through which we can uh, use its mail composer and in that mail composer we need to first initialize its uh, values like uh, subject the mail body and the attachment and the recipients so we need to take care of that and then we're going to present that composer and uh, so let's see that how we can do that so first of all we're going to create a project here so let's create one project so i will be using xcode 9 here to creating a project so click on create new project then select single view app okay and then hit next button and then give a name to your project i will be giving an email demo so and then select a language so I will be selecting Swift then hit next button then select location and then create so this is my project now click on storyboard okay so this is my interface builder now I'm going to add one button Okay, drag and drop on the view controller okay now stretch it and increase its width and then change its name okay, send button here so this is now we're going to change its text color I will make it black Okay, and then we'll increase its size and make it bold if you want. So I will be okay, changing its style. Okay, it's done here. Now I will change its background color so it looks beautiful. Okay, okay, that color like so here it is. Now we're going to set, uh, and I want uh, this button to be aligned at the center of this screen. So I will be getting an, uh, I will be adding a constraints to it. So let's do, let's align it from here, vertical center. Okay. Select first button, then again. Okay, so here it is, and then give width, okay, width and height. So give width up to 40 or 45, and then no, so height of 45, and then width is up to 150. That's present. So now we're going to let's keep its font uh reduce its font size so okay now it looks beautiful now we're going to add an action to this button so open assistant editor okay okay editor click on button and then drag it right click and drag it on the view controller class okay then select an action from the connection and then give a name send email and then select ui button from here and then connect so the send button action is ready now we will going to import the library that is message UI now we need an uh, mail composer so we'll, for that we're going to create one function which will going to return us an controller so to do that okay config mail mail controller okay and which will going to return 
mf mail compose view controller okay and here we're going to create one variable that is mail composer we see okay and going to assign a reference of mail composer to it and then we're going to set okay subject so here you can say I see that in, in IntelliSense we have many uh, parameters that we need to set while sending a mail first of all we're going to set a subject for this so we're going to select this set subject method and then we're going to pass our subject here so it will take string as an as a parameter so so here we're going to set as a send mail okay and then we're going to add our body message body here and here we can have both simple text as well as uh, HTML string so in case if you want your message content in a formatted way then by using HTML text you can do that so before before sending an HTML string here you need to pass uh, to here so we're going to pass like uh, we're going to bold our text sending a mail so in this way you can send an HTML string and now we're going to send and recipient set and recipient to recipient so it will take an array suppose if you want to send uh, send this mail to a uh, multiple uh, users so you can add those users in an array and pass it here so you are going to create an array and then we're going to write an any email like a sample demo at the rate gmail.com it's an demo email okay you can pass it here and now we will going to uh, return this mail composer controller okay and one more thing if you want to add an attachment to it then you can do it by using this method this method takes three parameters one the data and it's in binary data the other one is um, meme type and the uh, third one is the file name here you need in this argument you need to pass an ns data here so you need to uh, convert to your image uh, you convert to your image into and binary data and then you can pass it and in this uh, you need to pass the type of content which you are attaching with the mail like if you are attaching an jpg or png mail then you can mm, send uh, you can uh, send uh, that meme type and here you can give a name we can give a name to your attachment so we are not going to add an attachment here we are going to keep it simple okay here it is so now we can get a uh, our composer our compose view controller by using this function now we need to handle an array so for that we're going to create one function that will going to prompt an alert if the mail is not sent or we can't send any mail so for that what we'll do we're going to make use of an alert ui alert controller okay so let's create uh, one one uh, object for an alert view controller so here we're going to okay use alert controller here then initialize so use this initializer 
and here we're going to pass and a string like okay, just do double quote here okay couldn't could not send email okay and then here you can say that uh, your device could not send email and the preferred style we're going to select and alert okay it is now our alert is presented but now we want to dismiss it so for that we're going to create one action here so for that use alert ui alert action class and here we're going to pass an initializer like uh, okay and then the default okay and, and handler we're going to pass a nil here okay now add this uh, action to our controller to our composer so add this as add action and then pass dismiss okay here it is now we're going to present uh, alert view and pass and okay and animated to and completion block is yes, to pass nil here okay so the alert view is presented okay. remove extra spaces ah. now uh, let's use these function in the send email and uh, before this uh, we need a reference for mail composer so we're going to create one object uh, okay compose vc and here we're going to use this okay configure mail control which will going to assign this controller reference to this variable and now we're going to check whether our device is compatible or not so you we can do this by calling this method can send email okay and then if uh, if we can send an email then you can present this controller from here okay present controller and then pass this composer okay and then we generate true and then nil okay and in case if you can't send then you need to call an alert here so for that we need to call r show self dot show mail error method okay let's see uh, how it works and one more thing uh, if the mail composer is, is uh, if the mail composer sends an email in that case uh, it get presented but the mail composer is not yet dismissed so to do that we need to uh, we need to call its delegate uh, so for using its delegate let's create it extension it's a very good approach to create an extension if we are if you are using and delegate in a view controller so we're going to create an extension for the view controller here so mf mail controller delegate okay let's see what uh, delegates are available if we call as mail so we have only one a delegate available and it's an optional so we're going to use that okay it will get executed once uh, the email is sent so after that we need to dismiss our controller so we're going to dismiss it okay dismiss and then pass true okay and then sorry 
press and tab here okay so we will dismiss it so here it is to access to call this mail composer delegate we need to first tell mail composer that we are using their delegate so we're going to set this mail compose delegate equals to self here so let's run this code and see that how it works and uh, one more thing the mail composer will not going to be executed or uh, going to present in in simulator so it will going to uh, into it will going to present an alert view here so to test this you need to uh, run this code or build this code in your iphone so let's uh, run this and check this so it will going to work so here it is let's click on send button so this is it's asking for us uh, to set up our mail account so in simulator we didn't set an any mail account here so we're going to click on ok and here you can see that our simulator is not supporting or uh, can't send a mail so our alert view is uh, presented here so let's try uh, so please try this on your so please try this on your iphone it will going to work so thanks for watching this video